Welcome back. Now, the ground below India's capital is disappearing. Parts of New Delhi, especially near the airport, are sinking at an alarming rate, largely due to massive groundwater extraction. Ishan Gao files this report for CNA on what some residents are doing to save the city from buckling under its own weight. Cracks run through the floor of a housing complex a few kilometers away from India's busiest airport in New Delhi. A daily reminder of the risk posed to millions of residents in the area. When Rajesh Gera and his team first noticed this crack in a pillar supporting the 12-storied structure, they assumed an earthquake had struck. But researchers studying land subsidence have proposed a more troubling theory. This crack wasn't isolated. It was part of something far bigger. New Delhi was sinking and at a rate faster than any other Indian megacity. The findings were published this year in a journal Nature by researchers from India, Germany, the UK and the US. Mapping the crisis in stark detail, they said there were three sinking hotspots, all located within 12 square kilometres near New Delhi's airport. Satellite data suggests that the land under Delhi and surrounding areas is subsiding by roughly 11 centimetres every year. That's roughly the length of a smartphone. 11 centimetres might not be obvious to the naked eye, but it all adds up. Over 2,200 buildings in an area of 100 square kilometres are at risk of structural damage. And if subsidence continues at this rate, over 50 years, 11,000 buildings could be at risk. Experts say heavy groundwater extraction is the main culprit, particularly in lower income neighborhoods where piped water is scarce and underground wells are running dry. As water is pumped out of cracks and spaces beneath the earth's surface, the soil slowly compresses into cavities, causing the land to subside. Add a city of 30 million on top of this fragile land and the problem compounds and becomes a ticking time bomb given Delhi's vulnerability to earthquakes. So uh, when that uh, earthquake happens, while this is trembling, the building kind of sways. Now coming back to the cavity which is now below because of the land subsidence, the building will also start to move like that. Now this can actually uproot a building. So it can be that kind of a devastation if Delhi experiences, uh, you know, an earthquake of magnitude of five. Sudha Sinha is not waiting for disaster to strike. She and her neighbours have been taking steps to recharge the groundwater table, investing thousands of dollars to install these rainwater harvesting pits. Such grassroots efforts have revived the centuries-old water body in Delhi's Dwarka area resuscitating the aquifers in this region. And as underground water levels slowly recover, researchers tracking Delhi's subsidence say the land here has begun to rise again. So from, from past five years, what has happened, that system is, the, the water situation is getting improved. The resident, the urban people who are staying here, they have stopped using the groundwater. The adjoining areas, they are still using the groundwater. Experts are calling on authorities to make smarter choices about where cities expand and to designate high-risk zones as no-build areas, particularly where soil naturally tends to sink. They say human action can slow down if not reverse severe ecological damage and it might be Delhi's only way to keep from sinking deeper into crisis. For CNA, I'm Ishan Garg in New Delhi.